here's the contract. This is the most standard agreement between a, a general contractor and an owner. As a subcontractor, you're going to have a different contract. You're going to have what's uh, called a, a 4B. It's a different contract. This is important to understand this general document is probably the single most important to get yourself familiar with. The AIA, the uh, ar architects will have a contract, the engineers have a contract, uh, but this is between owner and general contractor. And I would model all of my contracts based off of this one, okay? Know what to put in it and um, know your know what, what's available. First thing, man, definitions. Get yourself familiar with the definitions. Okay. Change directive, change order, uh, construction equipment, consultant, contract, contract documents, right? Uh, the contract documents consist of those documents listed in Article A3 of the agreement, contract documents and amendments up, uh, agreed upon between the parties. So make sure you, you if you're bidding a job, uh, you have all the documents, and when you're submitting a price, you're always you're always um, telling this this price is based off of, and then you list this this drawing dated this whatever architectural issued for tender or issued for construction whatever drawings uh, vol like da -da 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 addition whatever and specifications dated this and um, and then you also have uh, if there's like five addendums and it also addendums one to five and that way if they put like say a sixth addendum out and you didn't get it. Well, you're off the hook right there because you said, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't price that. It, it's clear in my quote that I only priced a denim one to five, right? So you got to you gotta put down what you read and what you based your price on. That's a very important step at the final stage, okay, is to write down, I'm going to give you a lump sum price for this based on issue for construction drawings dated this, specifications dated this, and addendums one to five or whatever. And there might be other documents and stuff you could you might have to put in there, but you get the idea. But yeah, contract time, contract price, drawings, uh, notice in writing, owner, place of the work, product, project, provide. So provide means to supply and install, right? Shop drawings, specifications. Um, actually, let's read this. So the specifications are that portion of the contract documents wherever located and whenever issued consisting of the written requirements and standards for products, systems, workmanship, quality, and the services necessary for the performance of the work. Beautiful explanation. Of course, it's in the definitions of the CCDC2 contract. Now, this is how it goes. Contract trumps specifications specifications trump drawings now on the drawings itself the details will trump anything okay so if you've got something on a floor plan or a section that you don't understand it's going to go floor plans section details and then and details those are like if there's any dispute contract first then the specifications so say you're trying to tra trace uh, that p2 wall that on the second floor there because it's showing p1 on one drawing and p2 on the detail so you, tr you, you all you have to do to find that is to is to backtrack in into the specifications even and find your fire rating okay and 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 it says okay for you know um uh for the normal interior partition is you, you know you're gonna need uh, 45 minutes or an hour or whatever right um uh, then you know right there, oh, in the specifications, it says I only need to put one layer of drywall. So you're good to go. Working day, contract documents, GC 1.1, so general general conditions, general provisions, general, uh, uh, general conditions, whatever. The intent of the contract documents is to include the labor, products, and services necessary for the performance of the work by the contractor in accordance with these documents. It is not intended, however, that the contractor shall supply products or perform work not consistent with, not covered by, or not properly inferable from the contract documents. Nothing contained in the contract documents shall create any contractual relationships between the owner and subcontractor a supplier and their or their agent employee or other person performing any portion of the work this is directly f between the owner and the general contractor so the owner has no contractual relationship to the subcontractors in a, a design bid build project okay um, the the prime contractor holds all the contracts and then yeah just the stuff this stuff just read all of it guys read all of it if anyone wants a copy of this uh, I think I put it up. It's in my Discord under uh, contract documents. I'm sure I've uploaded some of the stuff on the Discord. Yeah, this is it, man. Like, read this, dudes, because this tells you all the different, gives you all the different things that you know that you can you can put in your contracts, okay? And you can you can modify any of this. You can take it out, 
take out stuff. Um, you can put things in that might be uh, special for that uh, project, okay, or your needs or something, you know. Uh, but it's important to know uh, all this stuff just to get familiar with it, to know what's available to you.